Hello everyone, I am Mandana Ayas. In this video, I am going to talk about Dropna, means dropping the nine values. It's a pandas uh, parameter. So here I have imported pandas as pd and I have write one csv file from github. It's a titanic uh, disasters github uh, file and it has 81 columns and 1460 rows which is having so many nan values nan means unknown or null values so in this video we are going to drop these values and for that reason i have calculated uh, how many nan values are there in each and every column for ID we have 0 nan, for MSF class we have 0, for lot frontage we have 259 nan values. And now talking about drop now, here shift tab, we will get 5 parameters, x is how thresh subset in place, by default x is will be 0, 0 means row and 1 means column if x is equal to 0 it is going to drop the row values where we have nan values and if x is equal to 1 it is going to drop uh, the nan values in in the columns here we got 0 rows and 81 columns means each and every row had an nan values so it dropped everything so now x is equal to 1 means it dropped 62 uh, we have 81 columns and here we got 62 means uh, we have dropped 19 columns where we have nan values other than that in all these columns we don't have any nan values and now df dot drop and a shift tab how how is a string type if uh, how is equal to any by default it will be any in, in any particular row, if we got any one nine values, then drop that row. If it is like all, all should be, all values should need to be nine, then only it should need to be dropped. So here we didn't drop a single row also, 1460 rows. Here also we have 1460 rows. Because all values in a particular row should need to be nan, then only that row will be dropped for all. If it is any means, any one value is nan means we will drop it. And now df dot drop na shift tab about thresh. Thresh is actually a threshold value. We will set it as something 50. If thresh is equal to 50 means it requires 50 non-none values in that particular column. So then we will drop that column. Means if in particular row we should need to get 50 non-none values then only we are going to drop that row. Here we have got 1460 rows. Means there is no one particular row where we are having uh, 50 non non values. And if df dot draw in a axis is equal to 1, comma, thresh is equal to 15 for columns I am going to check 
Here I got 1460 rows and 80 columns. We have 81 columns and here we got 80 columns means one column is dropped because in that one column we have got 50 non-nan values and now df dot drop in a tab about subset subset is something uh, where uh, we are going to check nan values in particular columns like let's take id comma uh, lot area comma it's a string so it should need to be written in a inverted comma in only these particular columns we are going to check the we are dropping the nine values other than that the nine values will be present here poll qc we have nine values but in alley we have we don't have any nine values and now df dot drop and a shift tab in place in place is something uh, it is by default false because uh, for one particular instance only uh, the df will be changed means the data frame will be changed but the original data frame what we have got it will be the same like here uh, if I type access is equal to one comma in place is equal to true means uh, we have dropped the particular uh, rows or the columns permanently the original data frame will change if in place is equal to true uh, if it is false means for that particular instances the data frame will be changed and that's all thank you